Hi guys, it's Malang and Sean, and we're the Briar Home Buyers. Hey guys, so if you have inherited a property and you're trying to figure out what your options are with your property, this is a video for you. <laughs> so keep watching. <laughs> Don't click away. Um, so basically, if you found yourself in a situation where you are spending a lot of time and effort uh, working on the upkeep of the property, working on the repairs and property costs, um, you're putting a lot of that sweat equity into the house because the house is barely inhabitable anymore or your parents just really did like spot fixes for things. Um, I'm not sure what else. Just not keeping it up to date with the times and you're just having to be there every other weekend making sure no one's squatting in the property no one is over there tearing it up local teenagers or you know just spray painting things um that's taking a lot of time and effort and money out of your life and your uh, family so not everyone really wants to do that what other things uh so some things that may be affecting you are the property costs uh you still have to pay property taxes if they had a mortgage on it, you're having to pay all of those. Uh, utilities, if you're gonna keep them on and keep your water running through the pipes in the winter time. Mm. Uh, also, maintenance costs. So you have to pay somebody to mow it if you're not mowing it. Yeah. Uh, you most likely wanna pay somebody to clean it, even if it is vacant, because it can still get dirty. Uh, if you decide to rent it out though, uh, tenants are gonna be a big issue. If you're not used to renting out your property, uh, and you're not used to managing tenants, that can be a major headache and it can just really break you down, break your family down. It takes a lot of time and energy and money and it's really gonna tear you up. Uh, some other things that may be hindering you from selling the property is junk removal. So I know my grandparents, uh, they hoard a lot of stuff. So if they were to go and pass away and my mom inherited the property, there would be a lot of junk to get rid of. So we would have to, to get probably 10, 15 dumpsters yeah. in there and unload everything and pay for that and the energy and the time to go through everything and figure out what we want. Uh, that's just a lot of headache, energy and time and money sunk into that. And then also, you probably have to deal with siblings if you've inherited this property. Um, Siblings don't always get along. Uh, the siblings that we have encountered, uh, they typically, there's one or two people that don't get along with everybody and it's really going to be a struggle for somebody to go in and fix it up. Who's gonna fix it up? Who's gonna spend the money? Uh, who's gonna live in it? Who's gonna rent it out? Who will list it and who will be showing the property? Uh, these things are all uh, have to be agreed upon with the entire sibling group. Okay, so you may be wondering with all of this overwhelming information about what is going on with your inherited property, uh, what options you have. Uh, you do have options and that's important to remember and we have solutions that we can help you with. So if you decide to sell to a professional home buyer, just realize that you don't have to repair the property. Uh, if faucets are leaking, if the HVAC system is broken, you don't have to spend the money to go and fix all of that. You also don't have to uh, spend money to repair the property and fix it up and get it ready to sell on the market with an agent. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get rid of all those costs. You can also get rid of the cost of commissions with the agent. You can get rid of utility costs, the mortgage payment, uh, just the cost of fixing everything up. You are now not having to come out of pocket to fix any of those items and spend the money on that. Right, and then if you did actually decide to go ahead and get tenants, we buy properties with tenants already in place. So if you took that step and then decided, this definitely was not for me, we still got you covered. And um, you can also decide to leave all the junk. So like his grandparents, yeah. <laughs> you can leave every ounce of stuff that Junk. you don't want <laughs> yeah. in that house and we'll take care of it. That will be our problem now. And um, we also will do be the middleman if you have siblings that you don't want to speak with, um, if you aren't on good terms with, uh, we're happy to be that person that kind of facilitates all of that. Um, we know it's not always a great relationship between everyone, so we want to make it as smooth and easy and painless as possible for everyone involved. So I'm sure you're wondering, who we are and why you should even listen to anything we have to say. So, 
Like we said, we're Briar Home Buyers. We are local home buyers in the Gwinnett County market. We are based actually out of Sewanee, Georgia. Uh, so you're probably wondering why should I choose these guys to work with? Our mission is to empower people or to empower you to enjoy life um, by simplifying and solving all of your property issues. And the way we do that is by... Uh, we try to be adaptable. Uh, so if you want to, for your inherited property, if you want to stay in it, if you're living in it, if you want to rent it out and you have tenants in there, uh, if you want to sort through the stuff and you still want to go ahead and sell it, uh, whatever your wants or needs are, uh, we can work with you on that. Uh, if you want to go ahead and sell it and stay in the property, uh, we'll help you with that. If you want to leave everything in the property and we'll handle all of that, uh, basically whatever your needs and wants are, like we said, we try to simplify your life. You just come in, take what you want, do what you want, and we'll handle the rest for you guys. And we also try to be uh, very open with you in by being or making sure that we have your best interests at heart. So we obviously know that our service isn't for everyone. Um, we know that some people are looking to get top dollar out of their property, and that's not always what we're there for. Um, so we try to find or like figure out what the real pain problem is and uh, just really treat that route instead of just doing this all for our benefit or for you know what works for us. Yeah, so we also try to be transparent, meaning uh, a lot of people wonder what the home buying process is if you deal with a professional home buyer. It's a lot different than if you're gonna go in with a realtor and deal with them. So we'll, we will walk you through the entire process of what the home buying process is. Uh, we will keep you updated on everything. Uh, we give you daily, bi-daily uh, calls to follow up with you and make sure that you know exactly what's going on. We just keep you in the loop and make sure you understand everything that's happening with your property to keep you happy with that. Mm -hmm. So you're probably wondering what qualifies us. <laughs> um, go ahead. Uh, I mean, just the fact that we've worked with a ton of different uh, types of probate clients, um, just people that have all different sorts of situations on what happened after their uh, parents passed or even their spouse passed and knowing what to do. Um, so we've dealt with a ton of broken sibling relationships. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Those um, are always fun. Oh, the best. And, um... <laughs> A lot of people just not wanting to do any sort of repair because their parents basically left a property that was inhabitable um, down to them. And I, just people that felt completely clueless on what they're supposed to do with this random piece of property that they don't want. So, yeah, that's what qualifies us. Yeah. So, if you're experiencing any of these feelings, these fears, uh, these doubts about the property, or if you want to see what your options are with the property, go fill out the form below on this webpage or give us a call now. We'll happily discuss your options with you and come out and give you a fair offer if that's what you want. And we'd love to talk to you guys. Thanks. Bye.